Embark on the eternal quest of enlightenment, exploring the philosophical paths of Buddhism and Jainism, where we'll delve into origins, teachings, societal impacts, and their contemporary relevance. Diving right into our exploration, it's essential to grasp the essence of enlightenment as it is articulated in Buddhism and Jainism. Born out of the intellectual ferment of the 6th century BCE Indian subcontinent, Buddhism perceives enlightenment through the lens of the Four Noble Truths. The center of this philosophy lies in acknowledging suffering and its causes, followed by the cessation of pain, eventually leading to a mindful and ethically bound life through the Noble Eightfold Path. Jainism, on the other hand, revolves around achieving liberation via a stringent commitment to nonviolence and self-restraint, focusing on spiritual purity. Though they share common roots, these philosophies differ on several crucial aspects, such as ritual valorization and concepts of soul liberation. Despite these differences, one cannot deny the common mission Buddhism and Jainism undertake to transcend suffering and attain self-realization. This similarity is a testament to their shared focus on nonviolence and spiritual illumination. Complementary in many ways, both philosophies have been shaped by their respective contexts and bring valuable insights into humanity's ceaseless quest for enlightenment. Even after 26 centuries, their relevance resonates powerfully with our modern existential inquiries. 6th century BCE India was in the midst of sweeping change. Notably, city-states like Vaishali thrived with bustling trade, dealing in luxuries such as silk and spices, bringing about an economic boom and a rise in merchant classes. However, a striking contradiction lay in the undercurrents of this prosperity. The Vedic religion's exclusivity and increasingly rigid caste system drew criticism, casting long shadows of dissatisfaction over society. Amid this social tension, Buddhism and Jainism emerged as havens, offering universally accessible paths to enlightenment. Now, turning our gaze to Buddhism and Jainism, we find concurrent quests for ethical conduct manifesting in both doctrines. Anchoring their critiques in the exclusivity and ritualistic demands of the Vedic religion, Siddhartha Gautama and Mahavira, intellects of their epoch, proposed alternatives. The heart of these philosophies pulsed with the principles of ahimsa, nonviolence, aparigraha, non-attachment, and satya, truth. The pursuit of personal enlightenment took precedence, pointing towards a shift in societal attitudes. Their philosophies not only introduced radical alternatives, but pioneered the roadmap towards a society built on equitable spiritual access and ethical living. The ripples of this profound transition continue to echo across millennia. Buddhism and Jainism converged on challenging the iron grip of Vedic orthodoxy around the 6th century BCE, introducing alternative paths to enlightenment. Both philosophies championed ethical living and nonviolence. Buddhism proposed the Eightfold Path, a practical regimen addressing life's fundamental challenges. Harmony is achieved via right understanding, right intention, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and lastly, right concentration. In other words, the blueprint for living an enlightened life in Buddhism encapsulates moral codes, ceaseless vigilance over one's mental and verbal actions, and wisdom, which arises from insights into the nature of reality. This tailored form of enlightenment is practical and adaptable, addressing the nuances of life's challenges beyond metaphysical abstractions. Mirroring the social versatility of city-states like Vaishali, Buddhism's practical approach to enlightenment and ethical conduct reflected a shift in societal attitudes towards spiritual liberation. Mahavira serves as a beacon in Jainism's landscape. Born as a prince, he renounced worldly pleasures and embraced asceticism in the quest for enlightenment, a path he reached at the tender age of 42. In seeking liberation, Mahavira crystallized the quintessential tenets of Jainism, enshrined as the three jewels, faith, knowledge, and conduct. Each jewel, a stepping stone, guiding Jain practitioners towards spiritual liberation. Contemporary Jain practices, shaped by the timeless wisdom of the Akaranga Sutra, focus on ascetic living and non-attachment. An intriguing parallel is the adoption of veganism and meditation as conduits for establishing peace and engendering compassion. Jain philosophy's practical manifestations echo the radical yet compassionate teachings of Mahavira, 
reorienting individual life towards enlightened living and leading us to re-examine Buddhism and Jainism's interconnected ethos. Karma, the cosmic principle of cause and effect, defines our existences in both Buddhism and Jainism. It's the moral quality of our actions that decide the nature of our rebirth, a concept known as moral causation. Our karma drives the cycle of existence, termed samsara, influencing every facet of life. One's intentions hold the key in shaping the karmic quality. In every activity, a mindful decision becomes pivotal, emphasizing the guiding role of karma in ethical actions. This illustrates the profound impact of our conduct on the path to spiritual liberation. These principles hold significance beyond their philosophical context. They guide people in the pursuit of ethical living in historical and modern times. To comprehend the gravity of the karmic law, consider Zhen Sai, a Buddhist monk in the 12th century China. Heeding the law of karma and samsara, he transcribed Buddhist scriptures painstakingly for 20 years, believing strongly that these merits would secure him a favorable rebirth. This narrative underlines the importance of karma in shaping our lives, echoing through centuries and bestowing a deeper meaning to our existence. The profound paths of Buddhism and Jainism highlight contrasting philosophical insights. Buddhism seeks balance through the middle path, whereas Jainism emphasizes austerity for soul purification. Meditation, a crucial aspect of both religions, showcases this divergence distinctly. While Buddhism hones on mindfulness, the practice of being present and open to experiences, Jainism advocates self-awareness, propelled by vigilant introspection. Ethical actions, revered in both philosophies, factor into their understanding of karma, where each action is believed to impact the cycle of rebirth, painting the universe we inhabit. The Sangha, or the community of practitioners, offers a backbone for ethical living and the pursuit of enlightenment. A Buddhist monk, Zhen Sai, whose meticulous transcription of Buddhist scriptures for two decades reflected the sections of karma, illuminates this blend of community, practice, and belief. Each contrasting facet of Buddhism and Jainism thus open windows into two different interpretations of enlightenment framed by balance and austerity, mindfulness, and self-awareness. Ahimsa, the tenet of nonviolence, has significantly transformed societies, inspiring changes in laws and social norms. Reflecting these principles, India embedded Gandhian ideologies, deeply intertwined with Ahimsa, into its constitution, leading worldwide influence, including in Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s nonviolent activism during the civil rights movement in the U.S. To witness Ahimsa's contemporary reflections, look no further than the cruelty-free product movement advocating for ethical consumption. As the principles infuse societal norms, they also inspire artistic depictions. Buddhism's essence shines through symbols like the lotus, representing purity amid worldly corruption, and tales from Jaka, skillfully painted in Ajanta caves. Equally captivating is Jain art, as manifest in the marble statues of Tirthankaras and intricate carvings at the Ranakpur temple. Each form, a devotional expression or an ethical representation, reveals how deeply entwined spirituality and aesthetics are, hence demonstrating these philosophies' multifaceted influences beyond their sacred confines. Mindfulness and minimalism, two principles central to stress reduction and lifestyle simplification, have roots firmly planted in Buddhist and Jain teachings. Buddhism gave birth to mindfulness, a practice of staying completely present and attentive, yielding benefits such as anxiety reduction and enhanced happiness. Decluttering physical surroundings, a principle of the less is more minimalist ethos, is an extension of Jain teachings. These concepts are not just theoretical, but hold practical applications. Whether it be the focused breathing rooted in mindfulness practice or the decluttering of one's environment in line with the minimalist lifestyle, the stark simplicity of these acts masks their profound impact on our mental health. Beyond the personal realm, the ripple effects of Buddhism and Jainism reach global dimensions. From the Indian subcontinent, they have spiraled outwards, subtly permeating various cultures and profoundly influencing ethical consumerism, peace, and nonviolence movements. They have also fueled the rise of environmentalism and veganism, showcasing an intricate tapestry of influence beyond pure spiritual practice. 
Our individual pursuit for peace, happiness, and an ethical lifestyle is the echo of Buddhist and Jain teachings, resonating even after 26 centuries. As we reflect on the ancient wisdom of Buddhism and Jainism, it becomes clear how these teachings shape our modern world. Ashoka, the Indian emperor, embodies this integration. After the brutality of the Kalinga War, Ashoka turned to Buddhism, transforming from a conqueror into a compassionate leader. His rule thereafter emphasized peace and ethical governance, demonstrating how personal enlightenment can lead to societal welfare. Imagine, in the hustle and bustle of our contemporary lives, applying the mindfulness these philosophies preach. It could help alleviate the pressures of constant stimuli, providing an antidote to stress. Furthermore, the principle of ahimsa, instructing peace and nonviolence, emerges as a beacon for sustainable living. In fact, we could interpret mindful consumption as a solution to counter the excesses of rampant consumerism. Likewise, imagine extending the Buddhist and Jainist emphasis on compassion into community service, promoting altruism and empathy across society. Thus, inspired by the journey of Ashoka, we aim to unearth the enduring relevance of these ancient philosophies in addressing the pressing challenges of our modern world. Enlightenment in Buddhism and Jainism is a timeless pursuit of self-discovery and ethical living. Today, we draw from the depths of these ancient philosophies that influence our practices of mindfulness and minimalism. Two meditative practices take the forefront. The Buddhist Vipassana, dwelling on mindfulness for mental health and stress reduction, and the Jain Samaika, promoting self-awareness for developing a balanced mind. The echoes of this wisdom also manifest in our societal norms. Take, for example, the five precepts of Buddhism, or Panchashila, which call on ethical consumerism and harm reduction, resonating with contemporary conscientious consumer practices. Similarly, Jainism's principle of ahimsa finds parallels in our endeavors towards environmental conservation and veganism. Witnessing how these ethical tenets inspire harmony in personal well-being and nature reaffirms the eternal relevance of Buddhism and Jainism. As we journey further, we learn to appreciate these ancient philosophies' astonishing applicability in shaping modern ethical standards and lifestyles.